I'm exploring the possibilities of salt and pepper via French recipes. Next I'm making piperade vasquez, my way. Piperade is a stew of peppers and tomatoes cooked until they're well done, really kind of sloppy soupy. And then in the Basque style, eggs are stirred into them. So it's kind of a big mess of scrambled eggs and peppers and tomatoes. I have another trick that makes them just a little more attractive, but the same great taste. Let's get my pan hot. Some olive oil. It's got onions and garlic in it too, for flavor. Onions just need to be sliced for this. Basque country is known for very colorful dishes with strong flavors. It's very close to the Spanish border, so it makes sense. There's always garlic in piperade. While the onions are softening, I'm going to get everything else ready so I can add it quickly. In addition to other peppers, I'm using colored peppers, which of course have no heat, but they share the name. In France, you rarely see green peppers used, except for in the south-south, right by the Spanish border. I don't know why, it's all red peppers in France, for the most part. I'm just cutting the peppers into julienne, which just means strips. So I'll just put the garlic in, but just for a minute. So it doesn't have time to burn before it gets the juices from the vegetables to keep it moist. Now the peppers. And some tomatoes. I'm just removing the seeds. And I'm cutting the tomatoes into tongues as well. Now this is supposed to cook. It's not supposed to be a salad. It's supposed to be stewed vegetables because this will cook down and be just a little bit soupy. Now for my other pepper is piment d'espelette or espelette pepper. It's very hot, a little on the cayenne side. So I just want a little bit, this is dangerous, just a pinch and a little regular salt and black pepper ground in. I'm going to put the lid on and that way the liquid won't evaporate and I'll have a nice soupy mixture of all those good vegetables and peppers. That's nice and stewy now. Now I'm just going to let this cook down a little bit with the lid off to let a bit of those juices evaporate. That gives me some time to make some toast. Just going to toast it in the oven. Now if this were proper piperade, I cook it down almost to a puree and then stir in eggs, which makes, I mean, to be perfectly honest, a very ugly looking dish, but it tastes fantastic. So my compromise is kind of a cross between piperade and huevos rancheros. I'm going to fry the eggs, fry the eggs, right on the surface of this mixture. Just a little salt and pepper. This dish is often served with ham. Usually it's jambon de Bayonne, Bayonne being a ham from the region. I couldn't find any, so I'm using prosciutto instead. So what I do is make little nests of ham and then serve the egg in it. Yow! 
Now you have a very complete meal. It's piperad gone slightly wild. It's so delicious. I love stewed vegetables and I love the heat from the piment d'Espelette. I'm going to stick with peppers. Next I'm making a duck breast with green peppercorn sauce.